What's shaking? My name's Cam, welcome back to another video. It has been about four months since I tried writing for 10 hours straight and live streaming the whole thing. Uh, it wasn't the funnest thing I've ever done, I'll be honest, but it did have its moments. This is amazing. I think everyone needs to follow Cam. I want non-stop alerts. You should have seen when I first did a stream with like the alerts on, I yeah. didn't know how to adjust the volume. So it was just really loud. So every five seconds, because it was the first time people knew I had a Twitch too, it was just going off like every couple of seconds and everyone's like, it's so loud. Yeah. But if I really talk. I, that's <laughs> It's been about three years since I tried writing for 24 hours straight. I didn't live stream that one, but to put it in a few words, it sucked. I didn't plan it very well, truth be told, um, but I do vividly remember telling myself, you're an idiot for thinking that you could do this. I only made it about like 12 hours in the end, uh, but to be honest, the last four hours, the last four hours or so probably shouldn't count because most of it was just like gibberish. I didn't plan it as well as I could have. I think if I tried it again, I could make it to maybe 12 hours, at least a lot easier. But I still don't think that I could sit down and write for 24 hours straight. Even with breaks, I just don't see, I don't see that being a reality. It's with that in mind that I'm extremely proud of my friend and fellow boomer, Kate Kavanaugh, for making it 22.5 hours into a 24 hour write-a-thon. Technically, you did still fail, Kate, but at the very least, I think you deserve a single clap. I popped in on one of Kate's live streams during a write-a-thon because she did a couple of uh, live streams throughout the day and night. So in just a minute, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite moments from that live stream that we did together. If I'm being honest, I don't plan on ever doing a 24-hour write-a-thon because truthfully, I think I would come out the other side of it more manic than Donnie from the Wild Thornberries. <laughs> However, I am thinking of doing a 12 hour write-a-thon. Not just that, but a 12 hour live write-a-thon. 12 hours of solid live streaming. Kind of like the 10 hour one where we would just chat and write just continuously. Like that live stream, I would want to have other author tubers popping in as well. I did make it the full 10 hours last time, but I have to admit I was a bit nauseous by the end of it. I think next time I do it, I do need to put like a good half hour break in the middle there. A good stretch of time where I can just kind of kick back, maybe have a meal or something like that, as opposed to like a couple of random five minute breaks, which is what I did last time. If I do do it again, I also want to make it a bit more fun and interactive with the people in the live chat. I want to include like games and giveaways, that kind of stuff. Like just as an example, maybe there's a wheel that I spin that decides something random. Like for the next 20 minutes, I have to write standing up, stuff like that. Anyway, Kate said that she's cool with me posting my favorite moments from the live stream that we did together from her writeathon. Links will be in the description, of course, if you want to go watch the full thing on her channel, just check Kate out if you haven't already. Here it is. I've just learned recently it's not an anthology if it's one person. So I've been making myself sound like an absolute idiot for God knows how long. Being like, yeah, I'm writing an anthology and everyone's like, oh, who else is involved? And I'm like, no, it's just me. Anyway, apparently it's called a collection. But uh, what we did earlier was we've been doing dice rolls to determine how long we sprint for. So you're turning this into like a whole game show just to figure out how long you want to write for. Okay. So apparently, let me show you. There's Which I'm a, down for, by the way. Yeah. There's a spinner option that you can do that I did earlier. And we could really make it be a game show. You said that once and it has been in my brain this whole time having like an author tube live game show kind of thing. And I'm just like, how could we do this? And in my, I'm going to figure something out eventually. You would be the perfect host for that as well. I, if anyone gonna, does that, it has to be you. <laughs> so I'm very excited. I just have to, you know, put it all together. Whoever wrote the most words gets $300 from Kate. <laughs> <laughs> how many oh, words do we want people in the chat? Give her a number and she has to hit it. <laughs> Do <laughs> everyone has to keep sprinting until I hit the number? <laughs> exactly. That would be miserable. And if you don't hit the number, everyone unsubscribes at the exact same time. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have do you have like a phrase or like some kind of prose that you find yourself repeating a lot? Because I found one in particular that I somehow inadvertently I think have put in like every single short story I've written <laughs> like written. Really? Is it like a phrase? Not it's like a descriptive phrase, yeah. Oh, okay, what is it? 
Well, do you have one first? Or <laughs> I don't want to. I want to make sure I'm not crazy. I well, I say I have a crutch word. I use just way too much. Just back, like they turned back around or whatever. Mm. I have crutch words. I don't know that I have a phrase that I use repeatedly, but I'm sure I do. I just don't know what it is yet. <laughs> Mine is, and I'm, I'm sure I would have put this somewhere in my book as well, is when I'm describing blood, I always say it was so dark, it was almost black. Oh. Just because, like, I think I said it once and I was like, oh, that's so true. Blood blood is very dark. It's much darker <laughs> than people think. Because it yeah. is. It, like, when you see a lot of blood in one place, usually it is so dark, it's almost black. But I was reading back through my short stories and I found it, like, three or four separate times and I was like, oh, my God, I, I can't keep saying that. <laughs> I think it's hard because also reviews usually aren't meant for the writer anyways. Mm. Like they're meant for other readers to tell them what I did and didn't like. And I think if you get enough of them saying the same thing, that can be helpful for writers. But so many people, like if I, even if I give stuff to beta readers, like 50% of the time, only, you know, a handful of them will comment on the same thing. But then the other handful of people were fine with it. So I'm yeah. like, okay, they all had an issue with this. But then their issue that they pinpoint is different. Whereas as the writer, I'm like, okay, if I fix this one thing, it might fix that. I yeah. think the I'm kind of, will say something maybe. I'm kind of in the middle um, in that whole regard. Like, um, you know, there's people that say uh, reviews are only for reviewers and not authors at all. And then there's people that are like, oh, authors absolutely have every right to get involved, blah, blah, blah. I'm kind of in the middle where I think uh, author, I don't think, you know how it's like death of the author versus authorial intent or whatever. I feel like yeah. uh, the author shouldn't be disqualified from joining conversations about something that they put that much work into as soon as they publish it. I feel like they should still be allowed to join in conversations about something that was very personal to them. But at the same time, you know, it's a whole, anyway, at the risk of getting into too much of a no, no, I, love that. I have watched so many videos about that recently in the booktube world. Yeah. <laughs> where you're like, this is the exact conversation. Yeah, no, I, I don't know where I feel about that. I don't know at what point it's like the author just needs to like shut up or when they can chime in with something. I think there's, I think it's hard. Plus then you don't, the uh, case case. yeah. Who do you alienate? And I do wonder though, with Jennifer's question, if this doesn't change a little bit, like for indie authors, I feel like reviews tend to be, I mean, reviews are always important, but I feel like for indie authors, <laughs> reviews are much more important than for traditionally published authors. So yeah, I agree, because you don't so. usually have a team of people from like a, a team of professional people around you, like, doing that work for you, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were so much more involved that I could see the, you know, reviews being much more of the feedback that you might need. Um, whereas in Trad Pub, you have a whole team of people where this is their job, exclusively mm. telling you that your book is, you know, commercially viable, or so they thought. Yeah. And then at that point, it's like, what do you do with the reviews after? Well, an entire team put money into my book. So I don't know. I think the simple answer is that it's very complicated. <laughs> there is never a simple answer to any of these conversations. Was that Anyone who gets less than 300 words done gets kicked from the stream. <laughs> Do you want to hold yourself to that, Cam? Nah, I'll take it back. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be the very end. It's our last sprint. I'm going to ask you how many you got. And if you do not get that many, I'm just booting you. Oh. That's it. Okay. What was the number you said? 250? I think I said 300. No, 250 is fine. That's, wait, what? <laughs> Everyone tell me what you said. Okay, I hope you guys are ready. Is this like an attempt to distract me or something? <laughs> yeah, it is. And it's working, I can tell. <laughs> Cam, how many words did you get? All right, I'll count them up now. Are you like hovering your finger over the button to kick me from the stream? I am I am ready. <laughs> you seem too keen to... Look, you're, you're the one who is setting the metric here. I'm just following what you set for the stream. <laughs> I, I think I'm all right. I, I feel like I got a lot. Yeah, I'm fine. I got 742.
Dang. Okay. Sorry. All right. When you think about it, because that's double, I should actually get the kick you from the stream now. <laughs> it's, it's only fair. Thanks so much for watching. All of the links are in the description below. Especially thank you for watching all the way through. I appreciate it. Good luck with the writing and I'll see you in the next one. Catch ya.